actually been working for DSH for over 15 years now, which surprises me because I didn't intend to stay that long. I came out to California from the East Coast in 2005 to do a forensic fellowship at UC Davis, and part of our rotations were a day a week at Napa, and I just fell in love. When I first came out to California, I was doing an internship uh, for Department of Developmental Services at Porterville. And I had been kind of bragging to everyone, I'm from New Hampshire, that I'm oh, moving out to California. When I finished my fellowship, I took a staff psychiatry job at Napa, and I've been with DSH ever since. I worked at DSH for 10 years, and I came to DSH from a university. I was the director of health and counseling at a large uh, college. I had some friends who were working up at Napa and had gone up to visit them, and just seeing the area was so beautiful, so amazing up at Napa, and I just knew that's where I wanted to be. I'm a music therapist, and I was just really excited that they were gonna pay me to do music therapy full-time in California. I've worked for DSH for 12 years. I originally started at one of our psychiatric facilities in Vacaville that is now part of the uh, Department of Corrections, um, but then transitioned up to uh, Sacramento headquarters to continue the research projects that I work on. I joined the department in 2015. Since coming to the Department of State Hospitals, I had no idea how passionate I would become about the treatment of individuals with serious mental illness. Being a part of an interdisciplinary team where it wasn't just me as a music therapist, but also working with psychiatry and psychology and social work, really creating this dynamic team environment was something that definitely kept me there. One of the reasons why I keep doing what I'm doing is because I'm surrounded by people who are passionate, passionate to really help improve our patients. And it's um, something that I've never had in a workplace before. And so to have supervisors who are passionate about what they do and support me in my passions is something that I feel really lucky to have. I don't really believe that everybody um, wakes up one day and say I want to be mentally ill and have a really difficult time with life. I think that we, they all need help and I feel like um, I have a responsibility um, to try to help with that. I came because I wanted to be part of an organization where the mission and the vision were really to help patients um, and not so much to serve other administrative ends. Um, and I've stayed here because of the people I've met and the work I've been able to do and all the hardworking clinicians throughout the state who keep improvement going. When I had that opportunity to meet the patients and to hear their stories and, and have them show me the pictures of their family members, you realize that mental illness impacts individuals just like me and you. When I got here and when I started working, I just loved it so much. I mean, this is such an underserved population and I feel very fortunate to be able to do the work that I do. The Department of State Hospitals offers an opportunity to work with uh, some of the most challenging, complex issues that face our society in terms of the treatment of serious mental illness. And if you're the kind of person that welcomes that sort of challenge in a dynamic environment, then this is the opportunity for you. When you realize the, the impact that mental illness has on these individuals and their lives and their families' lives, it's hard not to be passionate.